Here we are in one of the Turner roadways in the college. We have a hedgerow planted on either side, about five years old. Here on my left, we have a hedgerow, primarily hawthorn. We scatter through the hedge a number of wild cherry. And the aim there is to produce valuable timber to create furniture, to make furniture down the road. In the background, you'll see a stand of alder, which is self-seeded in here and scattered through it over the last number of years, young oak coming up through it. That has valuable biodiversity and again our hedgerow here is lending to the connectivity with other woodlands. Here now is an example of a hedge that's about 10 years old. Again we have that mixture of species through it. Hawthorn again, cherry, gilder rose, so forth. And this time we can let it grow on, produce fruit and berries, which is very beneficial to wildlife at this stage. Here's a 10 year old hedgerow as well. As you notice, it's cut back fairly hard. And there's a reason for that, because it's right beside the public road here. And we don't want to block the line of sight from a health and safety point of view. But to counteract that, we have field corners over here that aren't impinging on the agricultural land. And we've planted those up to get that biodiversity value. You will also know that we've, it adds to the landscape value of the farmland here and that can be seen particularly at this time of the year with the autumnal colours in the, in the trees. The landscape behind me is missing out on many of the benefits that trees and hedgerows can bring to the farm. You remember what these are? Shelter, biodiversity, uh, microclimate, carbon sequestration and, and uh, landscape value. So think of those when you're managing your hedgerows on your farm.